But you almost tore up your arm. Yeah, yeah. How did you do that? Uh, somebody from the crowd actually ended up grabbing my arm and trying to take me away with them. But uh, I'm okay now. I, I, I hope. You, you, you look fine. You, you look fine also. Oh, I'm fine. You look like a like a, a, a good-looking guy. Oh, thank you. Right this is radio. This is radio. I can say anything. Okay, me, yeah, say we're good-looking. They're, they're, they're good-looking guys. Um, uh, uh, ik vertel even wat er gebeurt hier. Uh, uh, een van de leden is aan zijn arm getrokken door iemand uit het publiek. En dat mag gewoon niet. Doet pijn, maar het gaat nu alweer goed met hem. Ze hebben een lekkere show gehad. Ik vraag even hoe het is om zoals vroeg te zingen, want Eagle Eye Cherry had het erover. Uh, is it hard playing and singing early in the morning? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially because we were up so late last night. Uh, we were in Amsterdam last night, so we were out, you know, partying all night. So uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have stayed home, but I ended up going out and uh, paid for it today on stage. You played last night in Amsterdam? No, we just partied. Just party? <laughs> yeah. It's even more difficult with it's rental equipment, though, too. It just throws an extra added chaos in the mix. Because you come on stage and you see the equipment and it's sort of new for you. Oh, yeah. It just sounds like crap. Did it? Absolutely. No, it sounded good on the field. Yeah, I mean, it was it was cool. We just, you know, it's, it's just uh, when, when you do the festivals, you got to be used to, you know, just coming in and working with what you got. So, I mean, for what it was, it was, you know, it was, it was good. We had just plug in and play. Yeah, we had a good time. Gisteravond zijn ze in Amsterdam geweest, niet om te spelen, maar gewoon to party. Dat is volgens mij uh, feesten, dat je ja, drank gebruikt en drugs en dan kijkt wie je tegenkomt. Ze hebben een fantastische avond gehad, ze waren er een beetje spijt van vandaag, want het zingen was iets wat lastig. Uh, you're loud, you're energetic, it works early in the morning, you must be a great band. I, I don't even think about that. <laughs> I hope so, yeah, you know. It looked, seemed like people enjoyed it, so yeah, definitely it was good. And it must have been about 30,000 people in front of the stage. Look, I don't I, I couldn't count them, but it looked like something like that. I think so. So you're good looking, you're a great band, you can play in the morning, you've got everything. All right. We're the greatest band in the world. That's what I said. Thanks, Deftones. All right, thank you, man. Dit waren de Deftones, Henk. En hoe kwam je nou in vier minuten van het ene podium naar het andere podium? Dat is, dat is hard lopen, Henk, met de juiste schoenen. Juist, ja, en dat is jouw specialiteit. Juist. Dolf Jansen, die met de Deftones praat, die, uh, die nu al de reputatie wensen te hebben van de Rolling Stones. Ik dacht dat die nog steeds de allerbeste band van de wereld waren.